joining me today. And again, we are excited to do this. So first things first, I know it's been an interesting week home with mom and dad um, or your guardian or whoever's taking care of you this week. So we want to thank you guys for being good boys and girls, which we know you have been. And we wanna encourage you to continue to do so. I know your teachers have sent your work home and there's a lot to do over the next week or so. So thank you so much for being good boys and girls at home. So I'm gonna read you a few books today. Hopefully you will enjoy them. And again, I thank you for joining me today. So again, I'm Allison Nooks. I'm the first lady at Gordon State College. And I'm just super excited to read with you guys today. So let's get started. All righty. Our first book I think I'm going to do is what does it mean to be kind? Now, this is one of my favorite books, and I read this book a lot of times to my kiddos. I have two second graders, too, so I thought we'd start with this one. This is one of my very favorite ones, okay? So let's get started. Make sure you can see the full front. I want you to see all of it. All right, let's get started. And parents, if you have questions, there is a chat button as a part of this. So if you have any questions, feel free to, to include those and I'll do my best to answer those, okay? So this is the beginning. It's a few little cute pictures about with flowers and little kitty cats, all right? So again, what does it mean to be kind? Let's find out. Bye lines just a little bit to give us a little bit more light. There we go. All right. What does it mean? Oh, let's go to this page first. What does it mean to be kind? Does it mean being a type or category? Keep looking. No, I don't think that's what it means. Let's see what else it says. Does it mean paying with something other than money? No, I don't think so. We have some other people joining us. Hi, friends that just joined us. We're reading about what does it mean to be kind? Does it mean being sort of something? No, that's not what it means to be kind. Let's keep reading. Let's see what it means to be kind. See all these cool pictures? All right, let's keep reading. Being kind means smiling at a new student in class. Any of you guys been a new student before? It's kind of hard sometimes. So yes, smiling at the new student. All right. We're going to let in some other friends into, the, into our reading time. It also means giving someone a compliment, right? Saying something nice to people. That's always nice to be kind. All right holding the door open for someone else. When you go through the door, it's always sweet to hold the door open for the next person coming through. That's kind as well. Let's see what else does it mean to be kind. Sticking up for someone who is being bullied. Can you see that picture? Yes, definitely. That's something that we should all do for others, right? Let's see what else. Seeing the best in people, even when they are struggling to be their best. Sometimes we're on our best, but being kind means considering them too. All right? Also, let's read this one. This is a good one. Forgiving someone who hurts you. We all get hurt every now and then. Being kind means to forgive. Also, helping an injured or lost animal. How many of you guys have pets? Anybody have pets out there? Well, good, those of you that have pets. It's important that if you find a pet, you try to help to find its owner, right? Another thing to be kind means being patient, very patient. When you are in a hurry or saying, these are good words, please, thank you, or you're welcome, and I'm sorry. Those are all important aspects of being kind. 
All right, let's keep looking. Also, celebrating the differences in others. That's an important part. See this picture? All the unique aspects of being kind, seeing different people. Also, encouraging someone who needs support. Really, during this time, we all need support. So sometimes we have to encourage one another and say nice things, all right? Something else to be kind. Picking up trash that isn't yours. That's important, okay? And also allowing others to, to make and learn from your mistakes. Sometimes we share our stories of things that maybe we have done, and it's important that we share those stories so others don't do the same things we did. Also, noticing when someone is sad or taking the time to understand why. Maybe stopping to ask, are you okay? Is everything okay? Here's another one that I like. Let's see what this one says. Caring for those less fortunate than you are. Isn't that an important one? Definitely, yes. All right, another one, let's keep going. It's being kind means having the courage to treat others the way you would like to be treated. That's important too. And to show your friends what it means to be kind and spread the word, so let's work to do that. If we can all be kind to each other and to ourselves, the world will be a more loving, caring, and harmonious which means peaceful place, okay? So remember that being kind is an important part of what we do every day, okay? All right, let's get one more book in before you guys go back to your homework or your day work that you're probably doing for school. This book is called, is named or titled Deep Breaths. Sometimes you, we all just have to chill. That's a good one, all right? Let's keep looking, all right? Let's see what it says. And in a few seconds, I'll also let you talk with me. Those that want to get on and unmute, you can talk with me as well. All right. So this is really, really one of my favorite books, okay? And this is about two friends. I'm gonna move over a little bit because this book is a little bigger. All right? Let me open the blinds. You can see a little bit more. There we go. Get some light on this book. All right, here we go. All right, Dolly likes to play on her own. See her playing? This is Dolly. She's playing. You see her playing. She's having a great time. And then it says, especially the mirror game. But let's keep looking to see what happens. But sometimes games are not much fun alone, right? Sometimes it's good to have a partner when we are playing games, right? Yes, definitely. Then along comes Jack, the rabbit. Rabbit, and that's her friend. So Dolly's best friend is in all the world is of course Jack. And look at all the funny things they say to each other. My tail is curier than yours. That's fun, right? Also, my tail is rounder than yours. That's fun. I love you. I like you this much. I like you more. And they're telling each other all these wonderful things. You have such a nice face, Jack. I like you the best. I know. Isn't that sweet? Yes, let's keep going. Some days, Jack and Dolly are quiet together. See where they are? They're under this cool tree. That's one of their favorite places. They go there, they go to their best place and watch the clouds or listen to their favorite music. Right, we all have favorite songs that we might like to sing. Some days they race around so fast, can you see that? And play so hard, all they can do is laugh. <laughs> yeah, see them laughing? Let's see what else happens. One day, when Dolly gets to visit Jack, I'm painting today, Dolly. Can I paint you? 
only if I can paint you too. Jack paints a big circle and then some smaller circles. Dolly paints some long wobbly lines. Dum dee dee dum dee dum. See that? They're in painting. They're having fun together. You see the pictures they're painting of each other? There we go. Let's see what happens next. Dolly looks at Jack's picture, and Jack looks at Dolly's picture. You made me look like a lumpy pumpkin. You made my ears look slimy, like slimy slugs. Oh no, look at what they're saying to each other. You're not my friend, Jack. I'm going home right now. I, and don't come back ever. Oh. I think they got mad at each other. So look what Dolly says, I'm mad. He's not my friend, Jack's wrong. But guess what happened down here? I'm sad. So look, looks like Dolly got sad. We're gonna let some more of our friends in. Let's see what happens with, with Jack. I'm mad. She's not my friend. I'm sad. You see that? Oh no. And then guess what Dolly says? It's right here in this bubble. It says, if I don't calm down, calm down soon, I'll explode. Dolly takes a deep breath all the way in and all the way out. Do that with me, everybody. All the way in. Let's take it out. All the way out. Good job. <laughs> Dolly takes a, lo a lovely warm bath. She closes her eyes and thinks of something she likes a lot. So it, I think that Dolly's trying to calm down. What do you guys think? Yeah? You think so? Yeah, I think so too. Let's see what let's see what Jack does. If I don't stop thinking about about that dolly soon i'll explode jack says jack counts slowly up to 10 and back down again and up again Whew. he closes his eyes and thinks of something he likes a lot so guess what jack is doing jack is trying to calm down too so let's see what happens next the next day Dolly goes to her best place. And look down here, Jack goes to his best place. Well, guess what? It's the same place. And here's what Dolly says, Jack, I miss you, Jack. And then Jack says, I miss you too. So guess what they make up? Well, we're gonna talk in just a second. What did they do? I miss you that much. And then Dolly says, I miss you this much. Let's be trees, Jack. I'm a bee, Dolly. Buzz. And then home. They're doing a little bit of yoga together, right? Let's see what happens. And then look what Jack does. This little piggy. Y'all know this little piggy went to market. If you ever played that before, it's one of my favorite little games. Feeling much better now, Jack. We're both chill now, Dolly says. They're all happy. All right, so guys, turn on your mics if you can. Let's talk about this book a little bit. And those of you that can, I'll help you if you'd like. There we go. I think everyone is unmuting. I'm gonna unmute you. All right, so let's talk about it. Can you guys say hello for me? Can't hello. hear you. Oh, hello. Hello. Can you tell me your names? What's your name? Michael. Michael, welcome Michael. Who else do I have? Mitch. Mitch. Is it Mitch or is that somebody else? Is that really your name? No. Well, either way, can somebody tell me what this book, when they were taking deep breaths, what were they doing? What were they trying to do? Anybody can answer. What were they trying to do? Can you tell me what they were trying to do when they were taking deep breaths? 
or when Dolly was laying down and trying to do what? What was she trying to do? What was Jack trying to do? Well, I'll just tell you since we're a little quiet today. Trying to calm down, calm down. So sometimes when we're upset, we have to calm down. And so that's why it says sometimes we just have to chill, okay? So right now, while we're all at home, I wanna encourage you guys to chill a little bit. I know it might be hard that you can't go to school and hang out with your teachers and friends like you normally do, but sometimes we have to do things a little differently in order to make things better, okay? So again, if you ever get a chance, you can go ahead and read this book, Deep Breath. Also, what does it mean to be kind, all right? Also wanna share two more books. I'm not gonna read them, but if you get a chance, they're great books to read. One is called The Caring Me, I Want to Be. And then the other one I really like is called I Love My Hair. And for all of these books I've been reading to you guys deal with character. And I wanna encourage you guys that as you get older, you're gonna to have to work very hard to keep good character traits, make good decisions, and be good people in society. That takes effort, okay? Again, I wanna thank you for joining me today. Thanks parents for letting them get on. And I hope you guys have a great day, all right? Take care, bye.